So, do you think it was necessary for all those people to get killed? Lord, I think almost a hundred people got killed in this book. Ugh. Welcome to the D. Louise book series. I'm Christina K.R. I-S-T-I-N-A. This is where we read books and we talk about books. No special effects, no theme music, none of that stuff going on. Just reading books and talking books. And uh, please check out my Star Trek Next Generation recaps on Friday. Um, I work really hard on that. And the If Then that follows Friday afternoons. Both of which videos are almost guaranteed to go garbled. HP and Best Buy say there's nothing wrong with my computer, so each time I do a video, fingers crossed, there is no backup computer anymore, so if it goes garbled, it's going to stay garbled. So if it does go garbled, or if this video goes garbled, put closed caption on, mute it if you have to, please just let the video play through. I need the views, I need the subscribers, I don't want to lose subscribers over this. Uh, don't forget Flashback Mondays, and as always, my daily book reviews. Um, this is book 24. Can you believe it? We've gone through 24 books in the Alex Cross, James Patterson series. And uh, there is so much murder in this book. Tons and tons and tons of murder. And there's a lot of subplots and... Uh, there's about five or six subplots, and they're all tied together. It's like, um, shoot, Let's see if I can. Has oh, let's close. There you go. <laughs> that works. Um, so. There's, I wanted to do this, I wonder if I can do this. There's like these, all these plots, and they all intertwine into one big huge plot. But there's so many little plots in the book that it, the ending has to tie them all together. And it's really, it's quite complicated. It's quite multifaceted. It's really interesting. Um, so... There's, there's one, well, there's a couple of, uh, I, I, I will say spoiler alerts, lots and lots of spoiler alerts. I don't spoil the actual whodunit, but I will spoil everything else but the characters. Now, um, we have some good news and we have some bad news in the family personally. And we also have um, professional improvements. And professional growth, which is awesome. We also get his quick check-in with Alex's father. Um, so we have someone is killing people on the road. Um, way back when the 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 serial the Washington, I forget what they were called, but there was this couple of people that were killing people on the highway. So someone is killing people on the highway up in the mountains. And so that's your first uh, thread. Then your second one is this cop and his girlfriend get killed in the supermarket parking lot. What's going on there? Why were they killed? Did the guy's ex-partner kill him because his ex-partner had been framed uh, for doing drugs, smuggling, and other kind of stuff? So that's a whole nother thread. So there's a thread with the people killing the people on the road. Then there's a thread with the cop and the girlfriend. But there's like several threads in that one. That one's like a thread with three or four loose ends that ties into it. It's a very multifaceted, multi-layered thread. It's got like the cop and his girlfriend, but then there are subplots tied into that plot. There's lots of little threads into that. There's a whole bunch of people involved in that particular situation. Um, it's very complicated, that situation. Um, so then we have someone or a group of someone's uh, committing mass massacres, killing 
some places, uh, like eight, only eight people. In one of the venues, over 20 people were killed. Um, so there's a, that's a whole nother thread that's going on. The big, huge massacres. And this book takes place over an extended period of time. It's not one of those closed books. It really, it takes place over a couple of weeks or a couple of months even. And so then we have some more cop killings happen. Then we have someone who's being framed for it. Someone who's decided that um, I might be doing this, but I'm going to make it look like that guy's doing it. And I'm going to put all the evidence in his place. And the cops figure this out because there's a whole bunch of other threads with that. It's so many threads in this book. It's just, they're all, there's like five or six main threads. And then you have about 15 or 20 sub-threads under that. It's really very, very light, multi-layered. I should have a magic marker. Then we have a side situation, which is tied into it a little bit, with um, a hostage situation that really... Um, another guy that was with the drugs and all, that has a connection, is one of the threads. And there's a killing there, too. So it's just a very multi-layered, very plot-layered book. So you have all the stuff going on with the the five plots, or five or six plots, and each one of those plots has at least three or four subplots to it that tie into it. I wish I had a um a wind chime. A wind chime with the wind chimes, and this would be like the main one of the main threads, and then this would be each of the f five subplots that go into the main thread. It's like we have our flowers, and this is the whole pot, and this is the whole story here, but it has all these different threads to it, all these different stories. There's so many stories in this thing. So many. And these candles stink. You know these things? I've had these like over 15 years and they still stink. I don't even... It's... It still smells. I think it's vanilla. I would never burn these. I would never burn these. Woodwick. And a relative gave me my little scarecrows. Who has passed on. But, um, so there's just so many threads. I feel like I should have a prop, and I didn't think about this. A ball here with, um, a jellyfish. Or, uh, an octopus with the main part and then all the sub-threads because each one of these has sub-threads and sub-threads and sub-threads there's a lot, you know for a skinny book, it is kind of skinny and it's only um three seventy three pages it's not that big it didn't take that long to read, but there's so many subplots. And then we have some family stuff. Uh, Nana Mama gets a huge, massive surprise on the last page of the book, so check that out. Uh, Janine goes through a situation with her running and an injury, so that might lead someplace. Um... We've also got uh, Damon has a situation. Allie also has a situation. There's just so much going on with this book. And I think, I hope you have followed me through all of these reviews and read all these books in order with me to know all the characters. Because there's just a lot going on. And then Bree, Alex gets offered a promotion. 
And like Lindsay from Women's Murder Club, and like Eve Dallas from J.D. Robb's thing, while they all would like the money from the prestigious position they're being offered, they all prefer being out in the field. I, I would like a compromise. I would like Eve Dallas to get the promotion, but still be able to choose and pick cases to work the field in, too. I would like that for her, but that probably will not happen. Um, but, and I would also would have liked Lindsay to move up in ranks, too, because she turned down the position too many times for me. I'm getting over it now. But Alex has been offered positions, too, half a dozen times. So in this particular case, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. He doesn't take the position, so Bree takes it. So now Bree is Alex's boss. Go figure that one. And there's so many sub-layers. It's just, there's a lot to this book. There's a whole lot to unpack. So I think you should check it out. But like I said, we've got the cops killing. There's several different cop killings. Uh, but the main one is the, the cop with his girlfriend in the supermarket parking lot. And then we have the highway killings. Then we have the massacres. Uh, then we have the additional cop killings. Then we have the framing job. We're framing certain people to take uh, um, responsibility for the stuff that we're doing. There's a whole slew there. Then we have a whole other thing of human trafficking, which comes out of less field, and a, a country club that's being used as a cover. And especially during this time period, there's so in the real world the stuff going on with that too. But it's just there's just a lot in this book to unpack. So be prepared. Uh there's a lot to unpack. There's some good news. There's some bad news with the family. There's some interesting news. There's some stuff going on. Um, but if you could please hit the like and subscribe, I would most appreciative. And uh, I hope you are reading with me this winter as we come into Christmas um, and Halloween. I got a little uh, carried away this year. And um, every Friday for the next up teen weeks, I did hollow. I did horror. I did suspense. I did thriller. I did cozy Halloween. I did not so cozy Halloween. And then I did an extra cozy Halloween because I got carried away. There are so many cozies out there that de deserve mentioning. There's got to be a couple out there in those if thens that you like. And don't forget flashback Mondays. I'm getting really carried. I'm doing an average of 70 to 80 books each Monday. And we. Contemporary romance, regency, paranormal, suspense, uh, erotica, inspirational, harlequin, we touch it all. So maybe you'll find a new author there too. So if you could please hit the like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a good day. Thank you.